summer and uh, we there's a lot of people perhaps wanting to get in shape they're taking stock of their diets and <laughs> deciding we're going to clean it up especially if those people have diabetes and today this week's health in a ha hand basket we're going to debunk some of those myths yes they're diabetes myths and with us is Beth Smythe director of programs from the American Diabetes Association here to talk to us about myths about diabetes facts from fiction we thank you for joining us oh well, it's my pleasure to be here yeah so let's get started uh, the first myth is diabetes is not that serious of a disease I hear it all the time yeah. oh I have a little bit of diabetes right a touch of the sugar right people say. and we'll talk about that in just a sure. few minutes mm -hmm. but Diabetes, actually, two out of three people are going to die from complications of heart disease or stroke from diabetes. That's 66 wow. percent. 66 That's percent. That's huge. More people per year die from breast can or diabetes more than breast cancer and HIV AIDS wow. every year. So it is a huge growing epidemic and we need to address it. Another myth, eating too much sugar causes diabetes. Yeah, so we think about this all the time, right? So people say, I can't have sugar because I'm diabetic. Well, there's two types of diabetes. There's type 1 diabetes that's genetic, and we don't really know the factors that go into you developing that, but type 2, also genetic, but lifestyle. And so it's not just sugar, it's your diet. And if you're eating too many calories, and if you're not exercising enough, you may end up with diabetes. Okay, here's another myth. If you are overweight or, or, or obese, you will eventually develop type 2 diabetes. Is it pretty, is that, that that direct a correlation? So there is a correlation between weight and a sedentary lifestyle and diabetes, but the bigger risk factors are going to be your age, your family history, and your ethnicity. You know, if you're an African American or you're a Latino, you have a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. So that's so. that's important to note. Know your family history, too, right? Absolutely. And, you know, here's the thing. If you can stay at a healthy weight, if you can get 150 minutes of exercise a week, that's 30 minutes a day, you can dramatically reduce your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. And that's probably so. what you tell a lot of, a lot of people who come to you with diabetes. Yes. Say. Yeah. Yeah. And you say exercise. 30 minutes a day is that just oh, can you go for a walk absolutely okay. you don't have to go to a program to do any physical activity get outside and walk walk your dog play with your kids you know right now the weather is perfect mm -hmm. get outside and enjoy it yeah it's going to reduce your risk we've got some food up here on the set you brought all these foods um, and they all look really healthy if this does not look like diet food this was interesting here people with diabetes uh, should eat special diabetic food you know what? So uh, again, there's lots of marketing out there for diabetics, but really a diabetic diet is no more than a healthy diet. You want to have some lean proteins. You want to have heart healthy fats like avocado. You want to have some uh, whole grains. Um, you know, everything that's up here, fruit. I hear all the time, I can't have fruit because I'm diabetic. Absolutely not. Fruit is full of fiber. It's full of nutrients. Have some, but pair it maybe with the protein. Okay, how about this? What about sweets and chocolate? People say they can't, yeah. diabetics can't so have sweets and chocolates. You can. You can have a small amount of, of uh, dessert kind of foods or sweets. Watch the portion. Make it for a special occasion. Um, and, you know, be careful. You don't want to have it every single night. Okay, so in moderation. Everything like in moderation. Absolutely. So is it possible just to have a little bit, a touch of diabetes? I hear there's no such thing as just a touch of diabetes. You either have it or you don't. Okay. And what you want to do is make sure that you're controlling your risk factors, make sure you're at a healthy weight, make sure you're getting some exercise, you, and you'll reduce those complications. The last myth we'll get to is people with diabetes are more likely to get colds and other illnesses. So here's the thing. Everybody gets cold and illness, but when you're diabetic, sometimes that can take on um, a, a more severe case. So okay. make sure that you're staying healthy treat it go to your doctor okay. when you can but no you're not more apt to get it take it seriously and take the advice we've just given you today Beth Smythe always great to have you in studio if you